Hello everyone. In this video, I will be explaining when and how to use the combination formulas for subtraction. Okay. So, as you have seen in the previous video for where I had explained uh, in one of the previous videos where I had explained the combination formulas for addition. We know that this kind of this formula or this kind of procedure is not required all the time. It's only in very certain few situations that we need to use the combination formulas. So I had explained the addition situations in that video. In this particular video, I'll be explaining the situations where we need to use these combination formulas in case of subtraction. Okay, so let's look at uh, first look, have a look at the formulas, how they are derived. Okay, so these combination formulas are basically required only for digits larger than five. Okay, even in case of addition, we have seen that this for combination formulas are required for digits larger than five only. Okay, so in case of six, seven, eight, and nine. So the subtraction of six minus six formula basically is, as we all know, there are only big friends for digits larger than five. So for minus six, we need to do plus four, which is the big friend of six and subtract 10 on the next left rod. Okay. So, but there could be certain situations when we don't have four beads to add on the primary rod, okay, where we are supposed to subtract six, we may not have four beads available to add. In such a situation, we need to, what we need to do is we need to use the small friend formula of plus four. So small friend formula of plus four is this plus five minus one. So doing this, we finish the plus four part and then combine it with minus 10, the regular minus 10 that we need to do and finish the subtraction of six. Similarly for minus seven, the big friend of seven is three. So we need to add three and subtract 10, but in certain situations when we do not have three beads to be, uh, that can be added on the primary rod, then we need to use the small friend formula of plus three. So small friend formula of plus three, I've mentioned here in the bracket, which is plus five minus two. After doing this, we need to subtract the regular minus 10 so that we finish the subtraction of seven. Okay. Similarly for eight and nine as well, where we have the respective uh, big friends as uh, two and one. So whenever we don't have enough beads to be added on the primary rod, we need to use their respective small friend formulas and then finish it with subtracting 10 on the next left rod. And in this way, we can uh, use this combination formula. So let's look at how we can do it on the abacus once. Once you get an idea, you need to just practice it so that you get a good grip of this. Okay. So let's look at a certain situation where we have the number, let's say 20, three. Okay. So in this 23, if I'm supposed to subtract six, so for subtracting six on this rod, I don't have six beads available to be subtracted directly. Right? So I need to use the big friend formula of six, which is plus four minus 10, but for adding four, I don't have four beads available either. Okay. So plus four cannot be done directly. So what I do is I use the small friend formula of plus four. So I, while uh, doing it, I consider it that I'm doing plus four. My brain should be telling me that for doing plus four, I can use the small friend formula, which is plus five minus one. So I'll say plus four and then minus 10 so that I finish the subtraction of six from 23. The answer that I have is 17. Let's look at it once again. I had the number 23 with me initially, and I was supposed to subtract seven from this. Oh, sorry, subtract six from this. For subtracting six, my primary, uh, the first thing that my brain tells me is I need to add four and subtract 10 to finish the subtraction of six. But while adding four, I don't have four beads available. So the next thing that my brain needs to tell me is I need to use uh, the small friend formula of plus four. So which is plus five minus one. So plus five minus one, I finish the plus four part, subtract 10 on the next left rod. And in this way, the subtraction of six is complete. Okay. So let's look at another example where we need to subtract, let's say uh, seven. So suppose we have the number 32, okay, 32 with us. And I'm subtract, uh, supposed to subtract seven from this for subtracting seven. So the first thing again, I'll think about is adding three and subtracting 10. 
adding 3 on this rod cannot be done directly. So the next thing I will think about is adding 3 using the small friend formula. So adding 3 using the small friend formula I need to do plus 5 minus 2. So the adding addition of 3 part is done. Subtract 10 on the next left rod and the subtraction of 7 is now complete. So in this fashion we will be using the combination formulas of subtraction. Okay, Let's look at another example where we are supposed to subtract 8. So uh, let's say we, I have the number uh, 44 with me and I'm subtract, supposed to subtract 8 from this. For subtracting 8 on this rod, my uh, first thing I'll think about is plus 2 and then minus 10. So plus 2 I need to do on this rod. I cannot do it directly. So I'll use the small friend formula of plus 2 which is plus 5 minus 3. So plus 2 is done. Subtract 10 on the next left rod and the subtraction of 8 is now complete. Okay, so do remember that we uh, we or any student doing this, we need to ensure that we do both these parts. The small friend addition of these uh, numbers, that is plus 2 is done using the small friend formula and this minus 10 is also very important. If we skip any of this, the answer will be wrong. Okay, so small, small friend of formula of plus 2 combined with the uh, minus 10 part will finish the addition subtraction of uh, 8 from the number okay so 44 minus 8 the answer that we have is 36 so let's look at the minus 9 part as well so in case of minus 9 the uh, this combination formula is required very very rarely because for in case of minus 9 we just need one bead on the primary rod to uh, that we need one bead to be added on the primary rod and then subtracting 10 to finish the subtraction of 9 part. But there will be very rare cases where we don't have even a single bead like in this case. Let's say I have the number 74 with me and I'm sub supposed to subtract 9 from this. So for subtracting 9 on this rod, I don't have a single bead to be added on the lower part on the primary rod. Okay, I'm supposed to subtract 9 on this rod. I don't have a single bead. So I cannot do plus 1 directly. So I will use the small friend formula of plus 1 which is plus 5 minus 4 and then com uh, combine it with minus 10 on the next left rod to finish the subtraction of 9. Okay, so in this fashion I will be using the combination formulas for either of these digits based in in only in very few certain situations where we don't have enough beads to add their respective big friends. Okay, whenever we don't have enough beads to add the respective big friends, we use the respective small friend formulas of the big friends to finish the subtraction of this, uh, any of these numbers. Okay, I hope this combination uh, formulas method for subtraction is uh, easy and clear with everyone. If in case of difficulties or doubts, uh, please do write it in the uh, comment section. I will try and clear them in the next video. Thank you.